Hi everyone, I've been getting some questions uh, from how to yeah, render out your level sequence when your level sequence has audio reactive components because after a while the audio and the visuals they start to shift, they're not in sync, right? So there is a way to, yeah, to fix that. Um, and it's not really intuitive, but let me just show you how to do it. So in this level sequence, I have some, yeah, some audio and some visuals. So if, if I play it, there we go. And if there is no audio, they stop moving. Now, <clears throat> if we were to render this out with just a sequencer, um, yeah, then you're gonna get a messy, um, messy pile of unsynced um, stuff. <laughs> so um, the way to do it is by using the new movie render queue, which gives you a lot of new fancy options and it looks just way better as well. So that's a bonus. Uh, but you still use your sequencer to prep it. And uh, the first thing we are going to do in the sequencer window is set our FPS to 60. And yeah, let's save it. Cool. Then in our movie render queue, if you don't have it, uh, you uh, need to find it in plugins. It's probably there. All right, so we add a new render. We grab our sequence and we go to the settings. Now this will uh, give us an image sequence. So this is just a folder with a bunch of uh, JPEG images. Every frame is just a, a still image, basically. And we have some output settings. So we are going to change the frame rate to 60. Don't ask me why, but if you set the level sequence and the, uh, the mover render queue both to 60 FPS, uh, the audio and the visuals will be in sync again. Don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Okay, uh, this will look good. Then we need to add another uh, output. This is going to be the audio. Important. And yeah, that should all be good. I'm going to hit accept and I'm going to render it remotely uh, and skip through it. Now that that is done, um, I'm just going to quit on real. Let's go to the folder where all these uh, JPEGs are stored. Here they are. So there are a bunch of uh, thousands of JPEGs and an audio file. So now there are multiple ways of, um, yeah, grabbing these images and throwing them together and rendering out an actual movie file. Uh, I'm going to be using After Effects to do this. Cool. Uh, first off, let's hit, hit uh, Control I. Go to the first, uh, yeah, the first image of the sequence and hit import. Then it's just going to straight up import all the images as a sequence. Then we go to interpret footage, main, and set the assume this frame rate to 60. All right, cool. Then we need another file. This is the audio file all the way at the bottom. Cool. Now we go to the movie image sequence, a uh, new comp from selection. Great. And we are going to throw the audio into the comp as well. Now, one thing to immediately check uh, uh, if it all went right according to plan uh, and if they're all in sync, uh, the video and the audio is by looking at the length of these clips, right? So the the length of the video is exactly the same length as the length of the audio, which tells me immediately straight off the bat 
this is sync. So let me just play uh, play a little bit. Jim, jim, jim. It needs to pre-render. Right. Hopefully, we get some audio with that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna render it, but I'm pretty sure it. Uh, it will be fine. Cool. So hit Control M, then go to output. I want it to render in H two six four for. I don't know. It's just good for YouTube, I guess. And let's set an output. Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's fine. Whoop. Render. All right, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, and there we have it. It's all synced, all good. And um, yeah, have fun, bye.